Today, I hit my finger with a hammer. I was aiming for the outdoor galvanized two-inch nail, but I hit mine instead, and it cracked, splintered, like the wood from this reclaimed pallet. This hammer did its job well, but on the wrong nail. This hammer, just like the one that brought on revolution and Cold War nuclear bomb theories, joined hands between the proletariat and peasantry, unified agriculture and industry, the one that brought vengeance of thunder and lightning, mountain-crushing god power in a blur of red hair and beard, carried by the son of Odin with iron-clad hands. It's the reason for the fifth day of the week, Thor's day, the reason for Parachute, parachute, parachute. It built the central railroad between California and Utah in the mid 1800s. Chinese and Irish workers slammed me down metal on metal on wood. I'm not sure if they worked side by side in the same struggle or not, but what I am sure of is if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. Evening. It's the time of day where most life-changing decisions are made. It's the transition between daytime, sun time, the straight and narrow time, and then the dark of night. The what can I get away with dark? The should I be bad tonight dark? I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out warning. Warning. Something bad is going to happen. I just wish someone would tell me. Like, you're going to hit your finger with a hammer. It's going to hurt. The nail is going to be carried away by ants. Ants. Don't even get me started on ants. When I was in preschool, in the sandbox, next to the gigantic rubber tire that must be 14 feet high and 6 tons, meant for the earth-pounding machines of the Canadian mines. But this one didn't make the standard. It had defects, like us here in preschool. So they rolled it over to the sandbox, dropped it on its side for us to play around. But beside this massive treaded piece of rubber was an anthill. A glorious golden anthill. A red anthill. Fire ants. Tropical fire ants. Genesaw Lenopsis. My best bud Bodie and I couldn't let these ginger ants take over our turf. So we stomped and jumped and kicked. And our little legs couldn't move fast enough. But, but they sure could. They, they scurry up, up over knees and fleshy thighs and in shorts and over bellies and stung and stung and stung. And then the nurse hung our clothes over the medicine cabinet as she picked each and every one off and applied ointment and shame and embarrassment, embarrassment, embarrassment. This was my this first was my lesson, lesson, my lesson failure. failure. And, and for 25 years after that, I avoided trying much of anything that could result in failure. I worked on the middle of the road and the, within my reach, and I got by, and no one noticed that I was hiding from the one thing that could hold your face down to the grime and grit of a pavement gutter or lift you, make you great. And I didn't notice that I was just Bored. If I had a hammer. So, so I, I bought one. Actually, actually, I bought more than one. I bought a steel brick claw hammer, dead blow hammer, checker face angle hammer, a smooth hardwood mallet, steel velocity hammer, brick layer hammer, metal axe hammer, steel drywall hammer, hickory ball peen hammer, a forged steel sledge hammer. And I started revolutions, and thunder, and railroads, and musical phenomena. And you know what? I failed. 
and it, it felt, felt so, so good. good. So, so I swung away, failure flattering all over me, gushing, oozing, comically spraying as though Quentin Tarantino had taken over as director of my life. <laughs> and here I am, covered in yellow paint and splinters and sawdust and sunburn, and I'm building a table. A table that will hold a hot toddy on a cool California winter night in our backyard by the fire pit. And I'm not sure if it will outlive me or fall apart by tomorrow morning. And I'm not sure if this fingernail will ever grow back. But it's my reminder that even just for a day, that everything is built upon failure. Everything. Even these words you hear now and in this performance tonight. tonight. Part of him that yearned to have that sense of whimsy back, 
the ability to sink to chest rise and chest fall of the sea. But salt had formed over him, hardening him. I'm not the only one to blame here, the mariner responded. You've taken everything from me, except me. That's the cruelest part. Your fingers crawl all over the land, caressing the young laughter of baby beauty, and wrapping yourself around mighty redwoods. Yet you are still lonely, so you kept me here to suffer as your only friend. The ship wrecked, lay at a 45 
degree angle on top of the dull drain as the rest of the soapy water trickled down. The recycle symbol of the eco-friendly toy pressed against the mildew along the outer edges of the drain. Just be a good boy now and get out of the tub. The father voice plays as background noise in the boy's ear. The boy doesn't budge. Eyes saddened as he stares down at his capsized ship. Come on, we'll be back in here again tomorrow. But for now, it's bedtime. The boy stands up and slides one naked leg over the tub and then the other, his eyes never leaving the red and blue plastic toy. His dad wraps him up in a monkey towel and carries him to his room. Dad kisses the little primate on his wet forehead and says, I love you, in his best pirate voice. The right side of the boy's mouth turns upward. Pause, fast forward, rewind, delete, 
edit, replay, and again repeat. The side by side has become light years apart. We are losing our sense of navigation. How to read the wrinkles on a face, how to chart uncharted territories, how to be lost, unravel, and pray. We pause, fast forward, rewind, delete. Edit, replay, edit again, repeat. Fist bumps, high fives, long embraces, even pat a cake games are becoming traces of distant and temporary memories. Empty feelings, a photograph's untruth, a non-reality, a decisious tooth. Creatures of flesh and dirt and tears, of toes and scars and nails and ears. Yet we no longer hear and listen and react or respond to a breath that has become abstract. We need to bring back the closeness that happens in the darkness and secrets of 2 a.m. To them, code and keys live in that scary moment where broken down you holds broken down me. Now that is progress and how we will continue to evolve. And it's okay if we stumble and we fall.
the ocean floor. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. Nobody picks me peaches and pears. Nobody offers me candy and Cokes. But it's all the same to the clown. For a hundred thousand years or more, that's one hundred thousand years or more. Nobody helps me when I get into a fight. Bury him. You may bury him deep in mud and muck, or carry him round to bring you luck. It's all the same to the clown. Nobody misses me. Nobody cries. Nobody, but nobody thinks I'm a wonderful guy. But it's all the same to the clown. Call him Jim, call him Frank, call him Nell, or make an ashtray from his shell. It's all the same to the clown. Ask me who my best friend is in a whiz. I'll stand up and tell you nobody is. But yesterday night, I got quite a scare. I called out and reached for nobody's hand in the darkness where nobody usually stands. But it's all the same to the clam. You may take him riding on the train or leave him sitting in the rain. You'll never hear, you'll never hear, you'll never hear the clam complain because, like I said, it's all the same to the clam. Then I poked through the house in each cranny and nook but I found somebody each place that I looked. Yes, the world may stop. The world may spin. And the sky may come a fallen in. It's all the same to the clown. I searched, and I searched, and I searched till I'm tired. And now, with the dawn, and man may sing his endless songs of wronging rights and righting wrongs. Clam just sets and gets along. It's all the same to the clam.
My lunar heart is heavy, but hopeful. I will build a rocket ship from Legos and your old computer parts. I'll blast up to the moon with my makeshift doctor's kit. Reverse the course of a meteor. The fading beat in your chest. Let me heal your chasm under ribs and flesh. Perform weightless surgery. You're losing light. Clear, clear. Earth shine illuminates you, turns you into supernova. Blind us with galaxy brightness, your heart flooded with my perigee of time. White hole of energy. You're losing light. Clear. Clear. Follow my orbital eccentricity. Drift away, become black hole moonbeams. Drift away, become sun and star and galaxy. Drift away, become silent. Follow me like a star cloud throughout time. Live on in light years. Live on as dust. Live on in dark matter. 
for Matt Lesser on drums. Thank you.